What's going on guys, Electrical Enthusiast here, and with the holidays coming up, I thought I'd give you a very simple yet interesting Arduino project, which is going to be helping you stay away from your house without worrying about your potted plants. So what we're going to be doing here is essentially setting up a um, an automated watering system for our house plants while we're on vacation, while we're traveling. And so instead of relying on your neighbors and such, you can rely on your trusty Arduino to run your control loop. So what we're going to be looking in the first part of the series is um, how to set up a soil moisture sensor, which I have right here. It is the FC28 sensor. Uh, costs about five bucks on eBay, so it comes with the sensor itself, as well as the breakout board for the analog signal. You're going to need an Arduino and a uh, breadboard, and we're gonna be setting up the sensor, like I said, in the first video. And then the second one, we're gonna be driving a water pump, which I have right here. It is a five volt to 12 volt uh, water pump. We're gonna be setting it up through a relay. This was a very requested topic in uh, many of my previous videos. So hopefully this is gonna help some of you guys out. Uh, you're gonna learn some electronics. You're gonna be applying it to a practical uh, solution and um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So your first task is obviously gonna be reading the data from your uh, soil moisture sensor back into the breakout board and into the Arduino. So what you need to do in order to do that is obviously connect the breakout board to the Arduino and if you look closely at this uh, board, I'm gonna be posting a picture on your screen right now. You will see that there's gonna be two pins for power, so ground and five volts. There's also gonna be two pins labeled AO, which stands for analog output, and DO, which stands for digital output. And digital output is adjusted by this potentiometer, but we're not gonna be worrying too much about it right now. We're gonna be connecting the ground and uh, power pins uh, back to the Arduino. So. Um, color coding the cables, brown is for ground, red is for a 5 volts, coming back to the Arduino, so that's 5 volts and ground. And I'm going to be connecting the analog signal, so that's pin AO on the module, back into your A0 pin on the Arduino. So that uh, completes my connections, at least for this particular sensor. So I'm going to be programming uh, a very basic program in order to get some data back from our plant and see what, what kind of information we can get. So as I have mentioned before, our first goal is to get a uh, reading from our sensor onto the screen. So we're going to create a void setup function, which will contain a serial initialization. So serial.begin at 9600. We are obviously going to have a loop function, which will be running continuously throughout the program. First thing we want to do is read the analog signal. So humidity, raw, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to go with that. So analog read A0. So that's coming, as you remember, I connected my A0 pin to the analog pin of the sensor. I'm going to create a print align instruction on humidity raw and introduce a small delay so that we don't have to uh, spam our terminal. So delay of 100 milliseconds, close the loop function, let's verify the program and upload it to the Arduino. So everything looks good. Let's open the terminal. So serial monitor. And as you can see, we're reading a essentially a zero humidity value at the highest voltage. So that means that we're getting a five volt read on the Arduino whenever there is absolutely no humidity. If I stick it into my soil right here, you can see that the value is hovering around 350, uh, so 300 and some change. And that's, um, so you can already base this reading off of this value, but we're gonna be taking a look at a, a very useful function, which is the map function. So the map function is what allows you to essentially map your uh, analog read signal, which goes from zero to uh, 1023 in to a percentage value of your liking. So what I'm gonna do is create a second variable, which is gonna be called humidity real, and that's gonna be equal to map. First thing we wanna introduce into the map function is the value that we're going to be mapping so humidity raw comma then we introduce the uh, low 
value of that of our essentially of our wanted uh, or perceived value so to speak so we know that the humidity is at low when it's at 1023 and it's at high when it's at zero so it's 100 percent when it's at zero and we want to scale that so we're going to create a percentage so it's going to be zero to 100 and what you're going to notice is that we've essentially mapped this value going so it's going 1023 to zero is equivalent in our world zero to 100 percent so that's what we've essentially done with this map uh value and you can you can change these values you can say that your 100 percent moisture is at 100 percent analog read for example so very useful function we're going to see it in a second so i'm going to verify the sketch once again I'm going to upload it to the Arduino. So now, remember, I'm printing the humidity real of value. So if I go into the serial monitor, I should see a percentage. So right now, we're perceiving our value, our analog read value, as 75% humidity. And that's a much more meaningful signal to us. Instead of having 1,023, for example, you're seeing this as zero humidity, which is exactly what you would expect to... Um, 63 for example in your soil and obviously if i move it around you can get 72 you can get 63 but this is a much more visible value so just to summarize at this point you should have an arduino connected through a breakout board of a soil moisture sensor which we're using to currently read the uh, soil moisture level of our potted plant and reporting back to the arduino as an analog signal uh, in terms of a percentage driven by a mod function. So hopefully you got a chance to use that. You have the same setup as me. You're outputting some serial value to your terminal. In the next video, we're going to be driving a, a water pump using a relay through, a, uh, through an Arduino output and a transistor. So hopefully you've learned something. You had a chance to implement the same setup as I do. And uh, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.